All right, we're gonna go over some command line user management uh, in this video. Uh, we've already added some users and made a few changes. If you recall, first off, I need to connect to my system. We already added a few users and made some changes. Um, if you recall, we used uh, user add uh, sec team to add the sec team user. And then we also changed the user shell. Uh, well, we did change the user shell with a uh, user mod dash s user local bin sudosh uh, sec team and we also change groups with this command to add users to the wheel group so that's how those are some steps to add and modify the users uh, if we wanted to delete a user it'd be user delete and then the username so if I wanted to delete sec team uh, I would do it that way. So let's run through a few examples just to add some users for fun. Uh, all these commands need to be run with root access. I'm going to try very hard to do sudo the right way uh, for this video just so we can get a little practice with it. Um, but I really hate using sudo this way because everything I need to do needs to be done as root. So I'm going to add a user called uh, RBE1111. That was the default way we added users and we look at what happened uh, it added sorry I need to specify the username I added it added the user I didn't specify a group so it created a group called RBE1111 and that's the only group it's in um, if we wanted to add this user to the wheel group again dash a appends it to the groups list uh, wheel Ah, I knew I was going to forget that already. It's embarrassing. So now we see the users in the wheel group. If for some reason we wanted to, uh, no, I'm not going to do that yet. And if we want to delete the user, if we use user delete RBE1111, uh, that'll delete the, yes. that'll delete the user. Uh, the problem with deleting the user that way is the home directory is still there. So if you want to actually delete the user uh, home directory, you need to give a different command. If you forget to delete the user's home directory, you can delete it uh, manually. Be careful with uh, running remove dash rf as root because you can really mess things up if you mess if you don't specify the right argument. So now that directory's gone. Uh, Another way we can uh, add users is by specifying the primary group when we add the user. Before we do that, I'm going to add a new group called user add. I mean, it's called user, called mm, admins. This is fun, right? Using sudo the right way. So I uh, added a new group called admins. And now if I want to create a, a new user, uh, If I want the user to get a default group of admins, uh, when I uh, primary group of admins, I can specify that when I add them um, with this command. Uh, so now I got the admin one user is in the admins group. Um, and if we look at the file, I wonder if I can read that. Etsy group is the uh, file that holds some group related information. If we look at the file, we see that it did not create the uh, a group called um, called uh, admin one. It's also interesting when I deleted the user, it deleted the RBE one 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 group. I didn't realize that would happen. So, all right, so that added the admin one user. Um, if we want to test deleting the user. And we want it to delete the man pages show you information about commands. If you did not install it earlier, uh, you can install it now with DNF install man. Um, if we want to remove the user's home directory, uh, dash R will get rid of the user home directory and other user related files. So sudo user del dash R. 
add in one. All right, so that's pretty much the commands for uh, managing, adding, modifying, and removing user. Again, let's look at the man page for user add. Um, this tells all the different different options for things you can change when you're adding the user. You can give it a different home directory. You can add a comment. Um, you can set some expiration uh, information. Uh, you can set the primary group. You can give it a groups list. If you do a capital G, that'll show give it a, a list of groups. Um, yeah. Dash S we use to specify the shell. Dash S we use to change this, the shell. You can use you can set the shell when you add the user. So let's combine some of these one more time. Sudo user add. Let's give it a comment. Uh, new user. Let's set the shell. User local bin sudo sh. If you're adding any new users, the security standard says the user should have the sudo shell as their shell. So you should add that as the shell. Let's uh, put them in the admin group, dash G admin one. And let's, uh, what else can we do? That's probably all we should do. And we'll create that user. The group wasn't called admins. Admin is called admins. So there we go. We created that user. All right, so that, that's a example of uh, some user management stuff. Uh, couple of files on the system that you should be aware of related to your user ID and the groups that are associated with. We've probably already looked at the password file. This is like the user database. So if we look at the password file, if we look at one of these lines, the first field, it's a colon delimited file. So all these fields are separated by colons and they have different um, different things. This first field is the username. The second field is where the password used to be. This third field is the user's uh, user ID. This fourth field is the user's primary group. So if you want to find the user's primary group, you can look for it in the password file. This is the comment field. This is the user's home directory, and this is the login shell. So that's where you can find the primary group membership. If you want to see what supplemental groups uh, a user's in, you can look at the Etsy group file, and this lists the groups that they are in as secondary groups. So if you remember, my RBE user is a primary group of RBE000, and my secondary group is wheel. So if we look at the RBE000 group, in Etsy group, it doesn't have anybody listed because Etsy group just lists the secondary groups. But if we go back up and look at the wheel group, it does have me listed. So primary group membership is not stored in Etsy group. The primary group membership is stored in Etsy password in the like fourth field. So uh, yeah, I guess that's all I really say about group and user membership and adding. So.